Hello friends, Gavanda here. In today's video I want to show you a great classic in Locksport. That is a Ruko 500 with uh, jean spools and undercut uh, in keeping chambers. The beautiful Scandinavian oval houses housing um, has five pins uh, which are jean spools and undercut in the four of the five keeping chambers. Uh, some of you um, already know that this configuration uh, requires a float picking technique. Um, for those of you who are not uh, yet familiar with this method, um, I will say that I will say that it uh, requires to manually rotate the core contact clockwise to release the jeans pulls from undercut. Uh, <coughs> in a moment I will show you all the guts and um, then it will be um, it will become clear uh, what I'm talking about now. Uh, I have a key with the beating mm, for picking I will use this short hook because uh, beating in this lock uh, is quite high so I will be able to uh, lift each jeans pool without uh, overset, oversetting um, previous pin. Um, right, and uh, tensioner for picking this lock, um, it is tensioner which uh, is a tight fit on the keyway um, and allows for good control of the core movements in a bold direction that is required required to into the float picking technique all right so let's see the guts okay mm, we see all the guts from the Roko 500 here mm, with five Keeping uh, keepings that are tapered at the end, as you can see, all five keepings are tapered, uh, and five driver pins that are now legendary uh, jeans spools. That's how it looks. Jeans spool. Uh, why are these pins uh, so scary in many descriptions? Mm, their main attribute uh, is their head, uh, which is designed to get stuck in a kind of milling of the keeping chambers, which is called an undercut. Here is our undercut. Oops, sorry. And I will show you this. Yeah, as you can see, the core is is hanging on the on this head from the jeans pool. No. In this lock, we have undercut 
in mm, first four chambers in chamber number five uh, we have very slightly over milling but mm, it is not to do anything uh, <coughs> once mm, the he head of the jeans pool uh, is in the undercut you will not to be able to lift that pin higher mm, to do this you will have to rotate the core by manual turning in the opposite direction to the tensioning direction to give the jeans pull a chance to pop up out of the undercut and reach uh, shear line um, you need to do this uh, as gently as possible so that you do not drop the other pins you have uh, already set turning the core in the opposite direction to the, the, the <coughs> tension direction is uh, turning it about a hair thickness and trying to lift the jeans pool all right here we have housing nothing special just driver pin chambers here we have the key again with the beating all right so let's pick this fella all right so we have Nico 500 with jeans pools so let's pick this lock we are starting from placing all the jeans pulls into the milling Core movement and now the last one. All right. Okay, number four, now number three. drop okay we have it this was number one and number two left
Okay, and we have an open. Alright, so let's get this lock. We have jeans spools inside, so I recommend it to use a shim for gutting because um, heads of uh, jeans spools can uh, can stuck in this uh, groove from the core. So if you have um, it will be good when you use it. Okay. Right. As you can see, <coughs> Luca five hundred is pick it and got it. I hope you enjoyed this video.
Thank you for watching. Mm, stay safe and be good. Cheers.